You are listening to a programme from BBC Radio 4. For, for the day, on this Holocaust Memorial Day, the speaker this morning, Chief Rabbi Mervis. Good morning. The boy is not a Picasso. With these words in 1946, a London publisher explained why the drawings of Thomas Cheeve would not be published. Three years previously, arriving at Auschwitz-Birkenau age 13, Thomas would ordinarily have been immediately murdered, but he was tall enough to pass for a young man and survived. In the days following liberation, Jeeve obtained some discarded SS ration cards and colour pencils and then proceeded in 82 profoundly moving drawings to sketch the hell on earth he had experienced. The haunting entrance to Auschwitz, the camp's appalling wooden barracks, the frightened prisoners at roll call and the death marches they endured. The Holocaust was truly one of the most horrendous and shameful episodes in the history of mankind. The extermination of six million Jews and many others that the Nazis thought unsuitable to live is a reminder of what can happen if we ever let go of democracy. Thomas's mother was murdered, but he and his father were miraculously reunited in London after the war. Despite the publisher's snub, he was undeterred. Incredibly, today, three quarters of a century later, to mark Holocaust Memorial Day, a new edition of The Boy Who Drew Auschwitz is being released. If a picture is worth a thousand words, these powerfully sad drawings are of immense historic value. Thomas Chief's childhood sketches remind us of the depths to which ordinary human beings can descend. The Claims Conference UK Holocaust Awareness Survey recently revealed that 52% of all respondents did not know that 6 million Jews were murdered during the Holocaust. Only 24% knew what the kinder transport was, while 9% believed the Holocaust was a myth, or the number of Jews killed has been greatly exaggerated. The Talmud teaches that whoever instructs their children also instructs their children's children for all time. That's right. We tend to replicate our own upbringing when we have children ourselves. But this would be much more credible if there wasn't evidence of illegal Jewish schools in London that are teaching the Torah and nothing else. This is hypocrisy, I'm afraid. And guess what? Those schools are single sex, just for boys. I wish he wouldn't be holier than now. Holocaust education is a moral imperative because it is not simply about understanding the past. It provides a harrowing lesson on what happens to a society when hatred and prejudice go unchallenged. It is a way of protecting future generations against the decay of disinformation. That's rich coming from a faith leader who teaches about Moses and Abraham, who are not evidential. And the poison of prejudice. Says the leader of God's chosen people. The Bible teaches the human soul is the candle of the Lord. This soul, is it in the abdomen or the thorax? Indeed, we are the guardians of the fragile flame of our humanity. Sadly, almost all who experienced the Holocaust as adults have passed away. And now we deeply appreciate just how precious the testimony of children who endured the Holocaust is. In his book published today, at the age of 93, Thomas Jeeve, while acknowledging the horrors of his childhood, prefers to concentrate on positivity, hope and survival. He and all other survivors are looking to us to continue their work. Elie Wiesel said, whoever listens to a witness becomes a witness. That sacred task now falls to every one of us. That was Thought for the Day with Chief Rabbi Mervis.